Karma is real, folks. Karma is real. And what we are finally starting to see is karma catch up with these YouTube grifters. Let's go ahead and start off and get into everything that is going on today because I'm telling you right now, these YouTube grifters are finished. This is the end. Just like all the scams and all the bull crap and all the crypto brokerages and all the cryptocurrencies and all the scam stuff, all the scams and grifters and liars and horrible people who swindled investors in 2021 are getting their karma. Voyager Digital Steve Ehrlich, what's happening to him? He swindled a bunch of investors and now what? He's getting his karma. All these uh CEOs of these random SPACs and investors and all that who swindle people in 2021. What's happening? They're getting their karma. Their stock is getting murder, she wrote. Now, the YouTube grifters, baby. It's finally happening. They are getting their karma. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. So the news just came out that millennial money, yes, millennial money with used to be me, Kevin, but now it's just Jeremy LaFave, Andre Jick, Graham Stephens just announced today that the show is ending. Now, here's the key, guys. They didn't really explain why exactly the show is ending, but I'm here to put the pieces together for you. You see, this segment of the YouTube video is called Story Time. Let's tell a story. And before we get to this story, let's make sure you guys understand this very clearly. All three of those guys are not just capitalists. I'm not going to go too hard on Graham. But Jeremy and Andre are grifters, okay? Why would a grifter stop a show if they're making money, right? Oh, that just answered your question. Why are they canceling the show? Is it really because they all just need a vacation? No, they're greedy. That's why they freaking shove FTX and Jeremy and Andre Jick shove Voyager Digital down your throats because they were getting money for it. They're greedy. So why would they end the show if they're making money from it. Oh, that's right. They're not making money anymore. That's why the show's ending. That's why millennial money is really ending. Because there's no more money. FTX pulled the sponsorship out. What are the sponsors they got? The views are going down. Let's go ahead and get into the story. Let me tell you guys a story. Story time. So millennial money started at the height of the bull market in 2021. We now know it was me, Kevin's idea. The show used to be me, Kevin, Andre Jig, Graham Stephens, Jeremy Lefebvre. When they first started, they looked like geniuses. Stocks were going up. Everybody was having fun. Dogecoin went to the moon. Elon Musk was pumping crypto. Bitcoin was going crazy. Penny stocks were going to the moon. AMC, GameStop. You know, Virgin Galactic. DWAC. It was a wonderful time in 2021 when everybody was making money. But then 2022 happened. And here's what happened. 2022 came. Next thing you know, they're not getting along anymore. So now me, Kevin leaves. Right? Then we start going forward. All of a sudden, they're not getting as many views anymore. Because not only is the market down, but they're also not getting views because... People have woken up. People are not as naive as they were in 2021. A lot of people are watching these people and saying, these guys don't know what the heck they're talking about. Now, some are better than others. I think Graham Stephens knows what he's talking about. I think Andre Jeek sometimes knows what he's talking about. I don't think Jeremy knows anything. And obviously, we all know I'm not a fan of me, Kevin, and his advice either. So their views are going down. Their ad revenue is going down. Sponsorships like FTX are pulling out. What's the point in doing the show? Because remember, guys, and I know this is an unpopular opinion, but these guys aren't here to bring you value and help you. It's a business to them. It's a grift. They're here to make money. That's it. They don't care about you. They don't care about your financial well-being. They don't care how well you do financially, stock market, none of that. They just care about how much money they make. And now, because all the money's drying up, now the show's ending. That's the real reason why the show's ending. On top of that, you also have 
one of their co-hosts, Jeremy Lefebvre, believe it or not, is under a ton of controversy. A ton. He's already one of the worst stock figures in the stock market. He's already under the heat, in the heat. He's getting a lot of heat for everything happening with Voyager, which Jeremy Lefebvre was the number one. I dare I say the number one. One Voyager Pomper. I can't think of anybody else. Go just type in Jeremy LeFay Voyager. And you know what's crazy? He even talked about Voyager on his other channel. Go look at Financial Education 3. He had two whole different channels pumping Voyager Digital, which we now know was an obvious Ponzi scheme. Jeremy is under a ton of controversy. Matter of fact, him and Andre Jeek are under such controversy now, and people are waking up so much. Even Coffee Zilla made a video on them. Coffee Zilla made a video on Andre Jeek and Jeremy LaFay. He even put them in the thumbnail. And he said exactly what I said in my video a few days ago. Voyager Digital is a Ponzi scheme. If you're really a stock market or crypto guru, wouldn't you have been able to easily figure out that Voyager Digital was an obvious scam and a Ponzi scheme? No. Why didn't they figure that out? Because they're not real gurus. They don't know what they're talking about. And everything around him is a business. How do I know that? Because if you really cared about your followers, why not just do sponsorships with Starbucks coffee or VPN or something harmless that wants to sponsor you? They get all kinds of sponsorships. Why'd you choose SDX? Why'd you choose Voyager and all that other crap? Whatever other sponsorships they took. Why did you have the Voyager affiliate link? When just a little bit of research would have told you that that stock and token was crap. I already broke down the history. Token used to be called BQX, then it changed the ethos, ethos, then it became VGX. Voyager Digital shouldn't have even been listed on the stock market. Go check out my video. I broke that down. They bought a shell company. And they did a reverse merger. They should have never even been public. The whole thing's a scam. But now karma's hitting. Because you know what you're about to see next? It's only going to get worse. People are going to start waking up and calling these people out for what they've done. Because I've been saying this for the longest on this channel. These grifters, these people have ruined an entire generation of investors' finances. I get the emails. Folks, unless half a million dollars messing with Jeremy, $250,000 messing with these people. Folks have gotten wrecked. And I mean wrecked like it's going to take them probably decades to get that money back. All in a year. That's the damage that these people have done. But karma is here to bite these people in the butt. Now CoffeeZilla's on top of it. You've already had people like me. Strongman Personal Finance, Chris Norland, Scott Schaefer, you know, you, you've had a couple of people getting on these people and it's only going to get worse. So what makes me the most upset about millennial money ending is that they weren't even honest with their followers. What does that tell you? They never cared about you in the first place because if they really cared, they would have came clean and told you what really happened. Think about it. If they're making a bunch of money on the show, why would they cancel it? Common sense, folks. It's a money thing. It, it takes way too much time. They only put out one video a week. If they're not getting the sponsorship and the ad revenue slowing down and they're not getting many sponsors, what financial incentive do they have to do this show? They might as well just pop out more videos on their own channel. That's what's happening. But they won't tell you that. It ain't got nothing to do with that fully, oh, I want to go on vacation. Tired. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. There's no such thing as being tired of grifting. You weren't tired in 2021. Why did they get tired in 2021, guys? Why is it that all of a sudden they want to go on vacation in 2022? And it just so happens to be when Jeremy got all this controversy, Voyager Digital turned out to be a scam. Coffee's in the making videos about Andre Jeek and Jeremy Lafay. The market is down. Crypto getting killed. FTX canceling the sponsorship. They ain't getting no sponsors. Ad revenue slowing down. Me, Kevin, won't give them their money according to Jeremy. Come on, man. Put the pieces together. It's ridiculous out here. But it's okay. Because we are seeing the end. This, my friends, is the end. And these YouTube grifters are finished. 
and best believe you will get a lot more exposed videos and content and putting the pieces together, storyline type videos out of me because that's what we do on this channel. We are here to save people and that is what we have done on this channel and we're going to continue to do so. And so I hope you guys are going to be along for the ride because we have got to get these people off. I'm not saying YouTube should take down the channel. I don't believe it's been in, in censorship. I do not believe in that. Um, obviously, you guys know one of my videos got censored. I don't believe in that. But what these people have done to other investors for their own financial benefit is wrong. And we need to stick together, hold these people accountable, and never stop until we can finally hold these people accountable and get them to stop. Thank you guys so much. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video, as you know. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.